Hey Bronx Science, welcome back to another episode of Wolverine TV. And happy election day! Today we're presenting you with the 2024 candidate election speeches. So starting off this week's video, we're going to be starting with the JSLT candidate, Abhinav. What's up Bronx Science? My name is Abhinav Akela and I'm running to be your next JSLT. I want to prioritize your mental, emotional, and physical safety and satisfaction. Let's make the whole school day enjoyable. With that said, I want to make mental health a student-led mental health forum for open dialogue and advice. Often, I find that my peers are reluctant to talk to adults about things that are bothering them, so that's why making these discussions led by students is so crucial. Also, we'll tailor them by grade to make sure that everybody gets the advice that they need. Given that our course selection process right now is so difficult, I would make an easily accessible, interactive, and descriptive course website to guide informed class decisions. I think that with more pictures and information, people would be able to take the classes that they truly want to, and overall, that would increase all of our happiness. Next, why should standardized testing be so hard for us? Just vote for Avinov and you'll get increased resources for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. Diverse cultural exchange events in the courtyard and student-made cultural artwork in our hallways will increase our understanding of other cultures and celebrate the richness of our backgrounds. This will foster inclusivity for everybody. To move on to physical health, first, we need improved bathroom sanitation. And to do that, I would implement a feedback system with the custodians of our school so that we can get our hygiene necessities such as female health products, paper towel rolls and soap dispensers restock as soon as possible. Also guys, we need to protect our privacy. Let's get some urinal dividers in the bathroom. Lastly, but definitely not least, is um, I want to decrease the amount of congestion in the hallways throughout the day. And to do this, I would educate and incentivize people to use the smaller side staircases all around the school. Remember, to get all this done, be a good fella, vote for Abhinav Akela. Thanks Abhinav. Now on to the next candidate, Josie. Good morning, Bronx Signs. I'm Josie and I want to be your next junior representative on the student leadership team, the JSLT. Outside of this election phase, you probably haven't even heard about the JSLT and that is because of the lack of communication between the SLT and student body, which I hope to address. To bridge this communication gap, I'll be sending monthly emails regarding upcoming SLT meetings because you and your parents can come as well to discuss school policy. Bronx Science is our second home, so let's have more resources. Reflecting upon my two-year experience at Bronx Science, I've encountered numerous situations when my calculator was on low battery or my friends needed to charge their phone. If elected, I'll advocate for a new calculator charging station in the library. In addition to that, a collection of chargers for specific devices. Just like public libraries, we can use our student ID to exchange for a charger to use during our free or lunch period. As Bronx Science students, we're constantly worried about our future and the college application process. I plan to address some of these worries by proposing a new Big Zip like alumni program. Remember the long extended homerooms in the beginning of the school year? Well, we can make them more productive by meeting with alumni. By working with the Alumni Foundation, each homeroom can also be assigned two to three alumni who can offer their valuable advice and guidance through online meetings. This way, you will have a heads up what to focus on. Remember, if you want your worries gone, vote for Josie Guan. Thanks, Josie. And now on to our third and final candidate for the JSLT category, Simi. Hi, Bronx Science. My name is Simone Dukas, and I'm ready to be your next JSLT. I believe that a true leader is not one who pushes people into doing exactly what they want, but one who shines a light on the right path. Let me be your light. Advocating for others is something I've learned a lot about through my experiences in Model UN as a tutor and as an older sister, among many other things. Something that I've learned is that advocating for others is a lot easier when you care about the people and the issue. I am confident when I say that I care about every single student at Bronx Science and every single issue that they face. As a student here at Bronx Science, just like all of you, I know how overwhelming it can really be. In order to combat this, I plan to mandate a monthly email from guidance counselors that will allow you to fill out a Google form with any questions or concerns you may have. This gives you easy access to one of your most vital resources and serves as a reminder to talk about or, or think about anything that is bothering you. I also plan to ensure that school nurses are equipped with the proper training in the event of a, of a panic attack or mental health emergency. I plan to take action against not so clean bathrooms by establishing a sanitation board that is run by you, Bronx Science students. This board will monitor bathrooms and meet weekly after school to compile lists about resources, what we need in the bathrooms. They will communicate with custodial staff to meet these needs. While all of these plans will be very beneficial to Wrong Science, what I'm most interested in is what you, the students of Wrong Science, want for yourselves. 
which is why my main goal is to increase communication between the JSLT and the students. In order to accomplish this, I will implement a link to a Google form where you can submit any requests, suggestions you have about changes to school policy. This will be present in each weekly update email. My experience here at Bronx Science has been nothing if not transformative and excellent. My passion for the school fuels my desire to shape it into something that can benefit and transform every single student who walks through these doors. Remember Bronx Science, don't miss Bozu Kiss. Thanks, Simi. Now on to your secretary candidates, starting off with Oscar Allen. Hey, Bronx Science. My name is Oscar Allen, and I'm running to be your next SO secretary. Year after year, candidates come on this very screen, promise wild changes within their platforms, and deliver on nearly none of them. Becoming somewhat of a cliche, this inconsistency has plagued our student government for years. What separates me from this, though, is that my initiatives focus more on cost effectiveness and realism rather than wow factor. Let me break down the ease of a few of my platforms. First, I plan to completely revamp our school's courtyard, painting simple lines for various sports, and installing a basketball rim, all of which would be pennies in comparison to our school's budget. Second, I plan to reformat our lost and found from the hot mess it is now to an organized array of co racks and hangers so that not only is it more accessible, but the cafeteria is much cleaner. How much can a few hangers cost our school, Bronx Science? Practically nothing. This is all to say that I am today's candidate that will break this vicious cycle of empty promises that has plagued our school. I do not come here to dazzle you today with elaborate plans, but to show you the basic yet important change I can make as your SO Secretary. Not to mention, my platform extends far further than just our physical school. It also tackles one of our biggest problems, the fact that our school spirit is practically non-existent. What we need are new events that I have in store for our school, such as, could you imagine if the baseball team was to play the soccer team in a basketball homecoming style event? This might sound strange, but I promise you it's 100% possible, as many other schools do it. This kind of event could be a hallmark of Bronx Science tradition that students remember far after they graduate and look forward to during the year. As my time runs out, I hope you can see that I don't come before you today to simply pull your vote. Thanks, Oscar. And now on to our second candidate, Alexandra. Hey, Bronx Science. I'm Alexandra Davidescu, and I'm running to be your next SO secretary. You've probably seen me walking around the school wearing my face on a giant sandwich board, and if not, you've seen me running events like Cupid's Bash, Bob Ross Painting, and Fresh and Pringle. I'm going on my third year of SO, so I've really got the drive, optimism, network, and experience to get it done. I'm captain of the girls' track team, a varsity member of Model UN, and a senator. But first and foremost, I'm a student like you, who's fed up with lack of opportunity, low school spirit, and unstocked bathrooms. Wrong sides, I want to make a change, an actual one. As your secretary, I'll make sure to keep our bathrooms stocked by utilizing a system of Google Forms to rapidly report and, re report and replace any missing items. Additionally, all those monthly period product drives for our menstruating students. And since I care about mental health, I'll open more Zen Dens and provide easier access to counseling and therapy resources. Athletes, I'm working with Mr. McGrath to create a student athlete coalition to better prepare coaches and provide time management and mental health resources for our athletes and introduce athletic guest speakers. Additionally, I'll host a live Bob Ross, the teacher, to guide the event and provide tea, hot cocoa, and snacks for all. For academics, I'll create a student monitor website where students and alum can share resources such as study guides, mentorship and internship opportunities, and so much more. Mm. Additionally, I'll host a textbook drive for upperclassmen to share resources with underclassmen in exchange for NHS credits. And how about more college tours, both virtually and in person? Also, I'll provide access to the Nutrisci Room by hosting more cultural cooking weeks to represent the Mediterranean, South Asia, and East Asia, and represent our diverse school population. I'll open the Greenhouse for a Garden on the Roof initiative, host an alumni open mic night, host more spirit days, and finally make homecoming happen. As the most qualified candidate, I know the ropes and have so many plans. Now our future is in your hands. To get it done, Alex is the one. Thank you. Thanks, Alexandra. Now for our third and final candidate for secretary, Darby. Hi, Bronx Science. My name is Dolby and my last name is Sale, like the discount. I'm grateful and excited to be running for SO Secretary, and I want to say thank you for supporting me so far on my campaign. Hopefully you've seen my poster, literally walking around school. I'm a current junior and member of SO Cabinet. I love to plan and organize events, but my favorite part is interacting with you. Some big events I'm chairing this year are Carnival and Cultural Cooking, and I previously chaired Haunted House. I'm also a member of Varsity Soccer, Lacrosse, Indoor Track, Congressional Debate, and co-president of Young Democrats Club. Coming into Bronx Science, I was confused and had trouble finding a trail to take. I knew I didn't want to miss out on anything, but simultaneously didn't feel like I knew all my options. Throughout my time here, I discovered that everyone has their own unique trail, 
And as secretary, my goal is to make yours easier. My campaign centers around three main ideas, accessibility, wellness, and school spirit. I will create additional water fountains, a tea stand, and help make snacks more accessible during lunch. I will create stocked bathrooms, mirrors, and a permanent zen den. I will make free therapy services easy to use, host fun events like a video game tournament, watch parties, edible arts, create a school playlist, and more. I will decorate the school with art murals, cultural art displays, access to bulletin boards, and more student artwork on the walls. My points come together through creating a Bronx Science app. The app will feature updates, extracurriculars, internship opportunities, AI and Excel resources, a lost and found database, a calendar, map, and much more. It will also have a space that is easy to leave feedback. I am passionate about making resources readily available to students and fostering an environment that makes it easy to shine, all while making school fun. I'm an efficient and effective note taker. I will ensure that all useful information from the school reaches students. To make my ideas become a reality, remember Bronx Science, follow the right trail, vote Dolby Sale. Thanks, Darby. Now onto our Vice President category. We'll be starting with Jacob. Good morning, Bronx Science. I'm Jacob, one of your morning announcers. You heard my voice on the announcements just a few minutes ago, and I'm running to be your next SL Vice President. First, I'm gonna to touch on some of my qualifications, then I'm gonna jump right into my plans for the school. I've been on cabinet for the last five months, and I made sure to make the best of it, sharing seven events like Spirit Week and Monster Mash. I didn't let being new to student government hold me back, so you know I'll hit the ground running when I'm Vice President. I'm dedicated to solving problems around the school, so putting me in this position allows me to do even more of this. But what problems will I solve? I'm glad you asked, because there's a real issue with the bathrooms at Bronx Science, and not a single person has solved for them. I plan to create QR codes and Google Forms so students can, so, so students can report any messes they see in the bathrooms when they happen. This will be directly reported to the custodial staff, so that when there's a problem, it gets fixed. On top of this, course selection is daunting and confusing, but I will change this. I will, work, I will create a platform for students to submit uh, honest reviews about classes. This will be vetted and verified to make, sure that students, so that, to make sure that students get the most helpful information possible. On top of this, I'll work with faculty to, make sure, to create class sit in so that students can know exactly what it's like to take a class. I will, you will need a free period to participate. However, this is a massive improvement that helps all of you know exactly what the classes are like at Bronx Science. I didn't. If you will, in the past, people have made all sorts of promises, like fixing the water fountains or improving the Wi-Fi, but I'm coming up here and telling you that every single promise I made in my campaign, I will fulfill. I, if you want a real change maker for Bronx Science, vote for Jacob DeJ. If you want someone who will actually solve for all these problems that I brought up, vote for Jacob DeJ. Thank you all for your time. Thanks, Jacob. Now on to our second candidate, Dylan. Bronx Science, we need to change some things. I know I'm not the only one that's noticed something is up here. We don't know what's discussed in the committees that impact us. Our sports program isn't what it was. We're stressed about our studies and college apps, and our school spirit is declining. Hey everyone, I'm Dylan, and as a student here who's also a member of cabinet and the soccer team, as well as a captain of the track team, I've witnessed all of this firsthand. We need to do something about this. We need change. But when I say change, I don't only mean adding a basketball hoop outside. And although that would be nice, it's time for some real change. The real change that only happens when we all come together, all 3,000 of us. Of the six pillars that make up my platform, I'm going to focus on three right now, starting with the one I believe to be most important, the backbone upon which all else sits, our school spirit. Bronx Science, it's time we start a new tradition, one that I know will boost our sense of community. Semesterly pep rallies, not just for our athletics, but for all teams that represent this school, and not just for our teams, but for all of us as individuals, so we can celebrate and embrace the bonds that tie us to each other and this great school. And on that topic, fan buses for those who want to come on out and support are within our reach, so let's go for it. And second, transparency. Students deserve to know what goes on in student committees, so I'd like to push for us having committee meeting notes published for all, and monthly cabinet updates on Wolverine TV. And third, college support. To reduce our stress about the application process, we need more support. So let's get in contact with our alumni association to start a mentorship program, one-on-one -on -one style, between alums and students, and to start college app workshops available to all grades, so we can ease into this tough learning process together. To summarize, we need change, Bronx Science, and we need it now. So let's get to work first on what we need most, our school spirit, transparency, and college support. If you haven't already, I encourage you to check out the entirety of my platform on Instagram, at Dylan for VP, or the elections website. 
Thank you for your time today. And as always, stay chillin', vote Dylan. Thanks, Dylan. Now on to our third and final candidate for the category, Fendi. Hey everyone, I'm Fendi, and I'm running to be your next vice president. My core belief is centered around serving the student body above all else. As my current member of SO Cabinet, I believe in the motto, no fun without fundamentals. The two major responsibilities of Vice President are being Chair of Nutritional Health Council and Advisory Board. In terms of Nutritional Health Council, I want to have more school-wide cooking events to promote nutritional education and healthier eating habits among the student body. For advisory board, I believe that advisory board meetings should be open to the whole student body so that you can directly express your questions and concerns to school admin. I'm also extremely passionate about reforming the school's merch because I believe that students should wear merch that they are proud of. I also want to advocate for more mandatory meetings with guidance counselors so by the time junior year comes around, guidance counselors know exactly how to help you through the college admissions process and better write your college recommendation letters. In terms of school infrastructure, I want to add more water bottle refilling stations around the school so that students can stay hydrated throughout the day. I know that this is feasible because we renovated the cafeteria in less than a year. In addition, I want to collaborate with the Bronx Science event planning team to bring in more world sports viewing parties. Our school is so diverse and watching sports together is such an amazing way to celebrate everyone's culture together. I'm extremely committed in being your Vice President, and I know that together we can make a positive change on Bronx Science. So, when you cast your votes, remember, you know what to do, vote Fendi U. Thanks Fendi. Now on to our candidates for President, starting off with Jaden. Hey Bronx Science, my name is Jaden Sinclair and I'm running to be your next SO President. If you don't know who I am, I'm our current elected SO Vice President, and I'm extremely involved in our school community. That includes being on two varsity sports teams, I'm on leadership for two different clubs, I'm head of advisory board and nutritional health council, and I'm our school rep on city and district councils. As your VP, I've led and worked with all of SO, which means I've played events that you all know and love. That includes the Train Buddy program, Haunted House, Winter Wonderland, Talent Show, Spirit Weeks, and so much more. I want to build off of this experience to give you guys the best year you can possibly have. What does this mean? Well, let me tell you some of my ideas. Let's talk about college readiness and collaboration. Let's have school trip college tours to top universities across the East Coast, and let's have increased access to internship, scholarship, and other college opportunities by having a dedicated page on our school website. Second, diversity and awareness. Let's have a cultural fashion show so that we're elevating all cultures that we have at Bronx Science. Let's also have a diversity and inclusivity symposium so that we have a workshop aimed at fostering appreciation for diversity in all of its forms. Next, let's have a Global Awareness Week so that we're aware of what events are going on in our school community, but also in the world. And let's have more humanitarian relief drives so that we become an asset to our communities. But finally, school spirit, last but definitely not least. Let's have monthly spirit weeks and seasonal pep rallies. And let's work with teachers so that we can have events like teacher talent shows and teacher versus student sports games. These are just a few of the ideas that I have, but what I want to know is what do you want? Because your ideas and what your wants and needs matter. I am passionate, experienced, and dedicated, and I know that I can be the best pres as a president that you could possibly have. I am dedicated and 100% committed to making the 24-25 school year the best that we've ever had at our history of Bronx Science. So everyone, you know what to do. Let's elevate, innovate, and celebrate Bronx Science together. And let's create an opportunity for students to have an amazing school year. So Bronx Science, stop waiting and vote for Jaden. Thanks Jaden. Now onto our next and final candidate for the category of President, Varun. Hey Bronx Science, my name is Varun Swaroop and I'm running to be your next SO President. Having served as a DOE representative, varsity public forum debater, and an SO cabinet member, I've gathered some valuable leadership experience which I hope I can share with you. So, what are my ideas? Let's start with spirit. I want to create a new merch committee that you can apply for. That means better designs, better quality, and a constantly updated shop. Let's also fix our SO events in two key ways. First, by implementing an anonymous Google feedback form so we know what you like and what you don't. But second, by implementing a new cabinet internship where you guys come onto cabinet and chair an event that you think Bronx Science will really enjoy. But the bathrooms are a real problem. That's why we have to create the Student Health Board, an initiative dedicated to advocating for the cleanliness that you guys deserve. And we can fix our current bathroom issues by implementing a Google form response system where you guys uh, fill out a form for any type of product you need, anytime, anywhere. There's so many other avenues for improvement, so let's take them. Let's put up art on our walls, plants in our classrooms, and put out table games like chess and checkers for you all to enjoy. Finally, I want to introduce a virtual ID option. We have the scanners, so why not use them? But enough on that. Let's talk academics. I want to integrate student-led class exhibition meetings with the teacher ones so you guys get the best course information. Finally, I want to fix our college process in two key ways. 
First, by introducing a new senior mentorship program, where seniors personally guide you through the college process, all while giving you internship put-ons, essay review tips, and, internship pra and interview practice. Uh, we can double down and provide a master college spreadsheet by providing, by sorting colleges by different majors, different area of expertises, different prices and locations, all while having information like sample apps that got in and alumni contact info. Remember Bronx Science, from day one people have told us if we put our heads together, anything is possible, which is why today you're not just voting for me, you're voting for yourselves. So together, let's take the first step to the moon by voting for Varun. Thanks, Varun. Now on to our final category, Senior Council President. Note that only current juniors are eligible to vote for this category. Our first candidate is Cecilia. What's up, Bronx Science? My name is Cece Beecham, and I'm running to be your next Senior Council President. We deserve the best senior year ever, and you all deserve someone that will actually fight to bring that to you. But why am I qualified? I'm captain of three varsity sports, so I know how to lead a team. Being on Senate since freshman year, I've experienced creating and volunteering in past events. I'm also not afraid to speak up for you, and I have good relations with much of the staff at our school, like Mr. Nasser, Head of Guidance, Mr. McGrath, Athletics Director, and even Principal Hoyle, so I'm not afraid to talk to them to collaborate on fun senior events. But I'm also just a simple nerd who wants to have a great senior year. So my platform is based off of three things, spirit, social, and support. Let's have a spirit week every month with unique days like Swap the Aesthetic Day, Turn Back Time Day, Celebrity Day, and more. Let's also have senior socials like Jeopardy, Karaoke Night, a senior thrift, a senior potluck, a senior picnic, senior only 3v3 tournaments, and more that you all actually want. For support, let's have an emphasis on positivity with the senior compliment day and thank you note outlines on the senior tables once a month. For college support, there have been many past promises for an alumni database but I have actual experience creating an alumni da a database for a professional level nonprofit, mm -hmm. so my promises will not go unmet. Let's talk about unmet promises. The main problem with people in this position in the past is that once they get into college, they give up on their role. But I'm not running to get into college. I will not give up halfway through the year. I'm passionate about planning events and ending our four years with a bang. I will advocate to have your ideas be heard in big events like prom and graduation. So take out your phone right now and click the box that says CC Beecham for Senior Council President because it's easy peasy to vote for CC. Thank you. Thanks, Cecilia. Now on to our next candidate, Elizabeth. What's up, juniors? I'm Lisa, and I would love to represent you guys as the Senior Council President of our school. As a member of Varsity Gymnastics, Public Forum Debate, and Senior Council, I am well immersed with the school and know exactly how to make our senior year the best it can be. Being one of two junior interns on Senior Council, I know how the Council works and the resources it provides. This year, our alumni catalog has greatly aided our seniors, but I'm committed to expanding this resource by adding additional alumni alongside their industries for a broader network where you can tap in for college app guidance and overall alumni advice. Now for another distressor, let's have the never before outdoor activities such as Senior Soap Day where we can actually have a water balloon fight and Seniors Plant Trees where we can plant greenery all around campus. Now when it comes to celebrating seniors, it's so important to celebrate the senior athletes at our school as they built a foundation for the success of VXI Athletics. Let's have a senior sports celebration, an event where we honor our athletic peers through unique niche superlatives such as best tri-season athlete or fastest Wolverine, moving beyond traditional MVP and MIP awards. And when we want to document it all, let's have a senior scrapbook. And finally, end the year with a class of 2025 high school vlog, where you can submit your favorite VXI memories and all craft one big movie for us to watch. And who doesn't love some snacks? We'll have a senior snack stand available to all seniors so that you never have to go without a snack. Now, you might be wondering, how am I going to keep up track with all of this when I have so many deadlines to worry about? Don't you worry, because I will advocate for a senior council bulletin board that will showcase upcoming events, reminders, and forms so that you never have to miss out and will be eager to join the fun. Juniors, remember, with my experience as a junior intern on Senior Council and passion for making this the most unforgettable year, remember that Lisa is here for the best senior year. Thanks, Elizabeth. Now on to our final candidate, Oscar Rempe Hyam. What's up, Bronx Science? My name is Oscar Rempe Hyam. Did you know that on Niche.com, Bronx Science is ranked number two? I know, second place, not too great. In fact, when I think of Bronx Science, I don't think of second place, which is why I'm running to be your next Senior Council President. So you best believe we're going to get that number one spot, and here's what I'm going to do to help us get there. Firstly, I'd like to organize and adopt a senior program. This is where seniors would get matched with an alumni in their field of choice. 
helping us prepare for life in college and beyond, and even opening the door to some potential internships. Some more of my fun ideas include a senior pet cactus, a senior debate versus Maldi wine competition, a senior dodgeball tournament, and even a real basketball hoop in the courtyard. Also, it's really important that we understand the colleges we're applying to before we apply to them, which is why, if elected, I'd like to organize more college tours, both virtual and in person, with guest speakers to help us understand the process more and understand what we're diving into. Also, NHS-hosted writing workshops for our essays could be really beneficial in boosting those college apps. On top of that, some of my more miscellaneous ideas include a senior Minecraft world, a senior glow up wall on the bulletin board, a senior door decoration contest, and even a senior esports tournament. From science, 80% of American parents believe that high school is the best time of their lives. And I'm not going to let us fall into that 20%. I'm going to work hard to make sure that our senior year is memorable, action-packed, and fun. And I say that not only because I'm trying to get elected, which is true, but also because I'm going to be a senior too, and because all of these things directly affect me. From science, every year people come up onto the screen and promise big change, and every year it's the same. You might remember me from last year, I actually ran for JSLT and I lost. But the first thing I thought to myself was, how can I get back up and try again? Bronx Science, you need a real person who's going to make some real change. So I encourage all of you to check out my campaign account on Instagram, at Oscar for Senior Council Press. I made a pretty fun Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse video. I hope you all check it out. And just remember, don't waste any time. Vote for Oscar Rempe Hahn. Thank you. Thanks, Oscar. Now that all election candidates have finished their speeches, please scan the QR code and fill out a form to vote for your next year's SO leadership.